Hey everyone, Donnie again. I've had a couple people asking me, like, what's the piston clearance on a cylinder on, on a chainsaw? I'm like, I don't know. I haven't measured one for a long time. And, you know, normally OEM ones, they're, you know, they're perfect. And you never worry about it. You never have to measure, like, ring gap or piston clearance. Like you do with, like, a racing engine, like a kart engine or a motocross engine. Which I used to do a lot of. And that's why I have, have these tools to measure pistons and and bore different size bores right so you want the right piston to wall clearance of their cylinder on uh, all different type of engines being air cooled water cooled whatever it is and your ring gap but you know what on oem ones i've never had to do it like they just they're just they're just perfect the way they are some guys might uh disagree but i don't care i've just never had to do it it just just works for me right but i'm going to show you how you do it uh, it's 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 fairly simple if you have the right right equipment. So this is a um, a two inch micrometer, and when I measure a piston, I, I measure kind of around the piston the piston pin area. Uh, the the pistons are actually tapered. So I've already measured this one. I'll just show you how the micrometer. See that it's loose there, and here by the pin, it's just touching and rubbing decently, right? So there there you go. The micrometer is set to that area opposite to the wrist pin so that's where you'll want to measure them okay not down on the skirt right in the middle kind of at the bottom by the wrist pin okay and then i put the micrometer in the vise okay i lock it obviously i already did and then i have a bore gauge this bore gauge i have several different ends here shorter ones longer ones little different spacers so i can get the exact bore size for for the for the the um bore gauge so what i do now is i set the bore gauge to zero on here and that'll give me my piston size okay so you got to do it a couple times you got to kind of hold the um bore gauge get the little one center that's 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 that stays in its spot and just work the other side till you get it kind of in the middle and get it so it's so it's kind of at zero okay so that there, it's a little bit off. I'm just going to move that a little bit. Okay, so you just, you just do it a couple times so you can get used to doing it. Okay, that to me is on zero now, okay? So once you got it zeroed, simply put your bore gauge into your cylinder and measure a couple of different things. I'm going to measure the sides right now above the transfer or below the transfer ports. So I'm going to rock it back and forth. And we have roughly... 1.9 to 2 thousandths clearance okay i'm going to check the bottom of the cylinder now this is the 372 by the way x torque a little more on the bottom okay so 2.3 2.4 then let's check it up top above the upper transfers we're at uh, 2 thousandths clearance let's check our side above the exhaust port and we're just about two 2.1 so i i would say yeah this thing's got around two thousandths clearance eh let's let's go with that two thousandths clearance ring gap i don't know i never measured it probably won't i should have just to show you but there is something else i want to show you on these 372 x torques because a lot of them that are brand new when i take them apart that have come from the factory pre-run in the factory um they have a little scoring on the piston it's normally on the exhaust side here right around here they have a couple lines because they haven't finished the port very well my dad i got this 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 saying from my dad he calls them grapes and they're just little pieces of chrome that sit along the edge of the port that will scratch your piston and wreck your piston this thing brand new hasn't been run from the factory because it's a um it's a cylinder kit out of the box, right? Right from the factory. But I don't know if you can see this. I'll see if I can look at the look at the camera while I'm showing you. As I hobble over. Uh, a little hard to see, eh? If you look at the bottom of that exhaust port. Right there. Okay. You see the little jagged edges? 
don't know if you can see them little round jagged edges that's gonna that's gonna wreck the or not wreck the piston but it ain't gonna help it okay it's gonna scratch it right away if i run my hand, hand in here right now i can feel those like it's it's grabbing my nail all the way along like the whole bottom of that exhaust part the top is fine but it's the bottom so that's one of the reasons we we blueprint motors or modify motors so you know building a work saw you're kind of blueprinting them plus making them more performance so blueprinting them is cleaning up factory imperfections and modifying them is adding more power and making them work a little more efficient or you know run cooler and run more power so i just wanted to show you that. that's how you measure the piston to cylinder clearance and what to look for on a cylinder you know that there i i find that quite poor i, re I really don't like that and that's the reason i port cylinders and and fix them you know if you want to just be be a a, a blueprinter i would go in there and, and clean this stuff up and just put it together and the thing will run just fine but i have some uh certain things i do them that i won't quite share with you right now but i make them work pretty good there's nothing wrong with the 372x torque except for that little bit of finishing i see there so yeah keep your saw in the wood sticking ass rev on the road have a great october it is october 1st halloween's coming and God darn it, Christmas stuff's still already out of the stores, eh? Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff. Unreal. Marketing, eh? Everyone wants to make money. That's okay. Keep the keeps the world going around. Have a great day. We'll catch you later on the next video. Stay dry. It's raining out there. It's fall. Bye.